This story starts in the same way that many of my stories start, with an idea that I had to get out of my head and a sweet wife willing to join me. This time, I felt like we needed to go on a road trip in some type of homemade camper. I started with this pile of used wood, and also mixed in some new materials. After completing the camper, we headed to Denver to spend our first night with family. Hillary's always having a hard time taking me seriously with my driving glasses. We made it to Mason's house. What are you eating? Eating a salad. From Denver, we headed to Bridger Teton National Forest. <laughs> the situation is bad. The camper totally did great the whole way here. And then we drove this gnarly off-road road to get in here. It is raining, super cold, and the wind is raging. Buzz nuts. Now we are packed in for night number one. How would you sleep? I slept really good. We're in Jackson, Wyoming. So what do you think of these flowers being everywhere? So pretty, I love them. So how do you rate Wyoming bookstores? Pretty good. They're everywhere. There are flowers everywhere. This footage is of a traveling musician named Lucky. He's traveling all over the country busking. We met him at a park in Jackson Hole had lunch with him and his traveling companion, and spent most of the afternoon with them. They were rad, and it was fun. This is this is Aaron, and she's in charge of the smile sign. <laughs> this is Lucky, he's in charge of the guitar. The other smile sign. The same day, we went white water rafting on the Snake River. So what did we just finish doing? We just got done whitewater rafting and now we're gonna go eat. Yoo-hoo! What are we eating? We're eating huckleberry ice cream and it is so delicious. Well, here we are at Yellowstone National Park and we're getting very distracted at every single pullout and having a hard time making it to our campsite and hiking trails. On your tab. <laughs> the contrasts of wildlife and beauty in Yellowstone are overwhelming and a real refreshment to take in. Drops 
Here we are in beautiful Yellowstone, hiking from Sublime Point back to Artist Point, then back to our truck, then back to our campground. Here we are in Canyon Campground, Yellowstone National Park, Wyoming, USA. Let's take a look at this camper truck that we've been living out of. What we have here is a Nissan Frontier, the base model, standard four cylinder. Moving right along, we've got the tin roof on the eight inch plywood camper top that I created, that I created. Here we have some stained glass painting, not real stained glass. As you come around to the rear, typically these doors would be closed and fastened. When you open them up, you find ample sleeping space. We have cot one, cot two, with a massive amount of storage all the way to the back. Look at that. Whatever you need, put it under there. So at night, crawl in, put our heads on this end, on the pillow, close the tailgate up, close the doors, and you're camping. Come on around this way. Oh, it repeats itself. Talk about beautiful symmetry. Here we have more stained glass, more plywood, and more truck. Thanks for taking my DIY camper truck tour. The sights to be seen in Yellowstone go on and on, and so did our wandering. Yolo Yolostone. This is Clarence, he made the best gummy bear joke I have ever heard in my life. The third kind of bear in Yellowstone, black bears, grizzly bears, and gummy bears. <laughs> That's, That's real. what's up, yeah. That's real, you gotta remember the gummy bears. That's right. Cherry. Yeah. <laughs> 10 years yeah. of training. Right on, 10 years of survival training right there. The campgrounds in the park fill up so quickly that if you want to camp at one, you need to be there at 6 a.m. waiting for someone to leave to create availability. This Dutch family wasn't as lucky as we were on this day to get a campsite, so we were very happy to share ours with them, and their company was very enjoyable. It's cold this morning, I'm on breath. We are walking down to the boiling river where hot springs flow into the freezing cold water, and so then it's really nice. And so we're planning on just chillaxing. Loved it. Cool and hot. Ooh. Thank you.
here at Coulter Bay <laughs> in Grand Teton National Park. So it feels like. <laughs> pretty cold. That is so, so cold. But pretty beautiful. Ginny Lake in Grand Teton National Park is an astonishing spot, and we loved spending some time on the water and hiking around the area. We just found a note on our car and it's from the Dutch! <laughs> That's hilarious. We crossed paths. We wrote them a note back and we're trying to find their car. But we don't know where their car is in this massive parking lot. We can't find the Dutch's car. Uh, we camping! Camping. Okay, it's our first time to go camping. Right now? Off-road. Off-road. <laughs> got Russ at the wheel. On our way back towards Oklahoma, we stayed with the Pfeiffer family. And while there, we decided to go check out Great Sand Dune National Park. And it was full of unanticipated fun and awe. Oh, look at your boogers! Your boogers! We made it home in a spirit of success and were reminded that natural beauty feeds the soul and no matter how humble, there is no place like home. We are out here driving. In the middle of nowhere. Middle of beautiful Colorado. I think we're in Wyoming. This is Wyoming? That fast? No. I think so. No way. I think we're almost there. How did we not see a sign? Because we were on a dirt road. Ooh, we were on a dirt road. Oh no, we are not to Wyoming yet. I don't think so. But we're getting very close. Lots of farms, ranches, cowboys. Oh, ranches. I've seen some cowboys in a cowboy hat. Cowboys.